Hey everyone, guess what? I am at Hiram Nikisham. Is that what it's called, Jeff? It's an ashram. It's the largest ashram here in Rikisha, uh, Rishikesh. <laughs> I can't speak today. Um, anyway, I'm standing right here, sitting right here, in front of Ashwagandha. So you guys, if you've been a client of mine for a while, you know about Ashwagandha. I use it for a lot of things. And I'm just so excited to show you that this is the Ashwagandha seed pod. Isn't it beautiful? It's red. And it's growing right here at the base of all these statues um, by this waterfall. And here's the seed pod. So inside the seed pod are, it's almost like it's in the tomato family. And you can tell looking at it, it looks like a little cherry tomato, all the seeds. And just look at where this is growing in the pathway. So we usually use the root and um, I'll just go ahead and put this back in the ground. There we go. Um, ashwagandha is a powerful, powerful, powerful herb. It is used as a ginseng replacement and it is used to strengthen the kidney chi. And in Chinese medicine, the kidney chi is the source of the essence of the body. Um, and uh, let's see, what else can I tell you about it? I guess we can kind of focus in on one of, this is where the seed pod came from. This is so beautiful. If you open up one of these, um, you should see the little red seed pod in there. Isn't that cool? <laughs> And it's just so neat to be in India with this plant. There's another one. Because this is where it's from. Um, so in addition to being a kidney chi strengthener, it's used, it really goes to the bone marrow. And I always think of ashwagandha as this amazing plant that can actually go to the bone marrow and increase red blood cells, white blood cells. It's um, used a lot of times um, in addition to chemotherapy or to offset some of the side effects of bone suppression, bone marrow suppression in chemotherapy. Um, I'll go put this one back in the ground again. So um, let's see, so we use it for cancer treatment, we use it for prevention of red blood anemia and white blood cell destruction and um, to help the body create more. So in Western medicine, there is something called erythropoietin produced by the kidney that goes to the bone marrow and increases red blood cell production. And what's so cool about ashwagandha, I think it taps into that. I'm not sure how um, chemically, but I think it does. And because it's such a established Western medicine concept, of how you strengthen kidney chi to strengthen red blood cell count. Um, that's kind of how this herb is working. So I use it in almost every cancer formula that I make um, to some degree, especially in older animals used uh, to strengthen the kidney chi, which means to strengthen their essence. Um, it's used for a lot of different things, um, not as much for inflammation maybe, not as much for arthritis, more at a deeper, a deeper core level. Um, it's really good for those dogs that have real pale tongues. So we could use it in blood deficiencies of all sorts, I think. And I just think it's so cool. Here we are in India. The, the yoga hall is a three-story building right next to us. Um, we have a whole bunch of other medicinal herbs which we can hopefully introduce some of them to you around here. I didn't know about a lot of them. So this is like education for me. And um, I don't know, it's just amazing to be here with ashwagandha growing as a weed. <laughs> um, like I say, this isn't related to tomato, so it would grow like a tomato. And I've tried to grow it at home. Gosh, its leaves are almost velvety. And Jeff, can you get in and see how these leaves almost have, yeah, they have little hairs on them. The new leaves. Kind of like mullein, huh? Let's see if the old leaves have those on there too. Yeah, when it gets older, the old leaves don't have it on there. So it's just the new leaves. Um, but 
I found out here in India that they don't just use the root. Of course, when you use the root, you kill the plant. They use all parts of the plant. And um, so anyway, thanks so much for joining me with ashwagandha in India, Rishikesh. See you next month. Thank <laughs> you.